Hi friends. It's that time of year where there's a lot of snow on the ground, especially if you live where Mrs. Short lives. We've had a lot of snow. Today it's raining and the snow's gone, but boy, the other day, whew. So I bought this book and it's called Snow. And I'm dedicating the reading of this book to Willow and Nora. They are my niece's daughters and they love to play in the snow. They even had a snow day this week because there was so much snow. The author is Roy McKee and P.D. Eastman. Let's see if you do some of the same things that they do in this story. Snow. Snow, snow, come out in the snow. Snow, snow, come look at the snow. Come out, come out, come out in the snow. I want to know if you like snow. Do you like it? Yes or no? Oh yes, oh yes, I do like snow. What is snow? We do not know, but snow is lots of fun we know. What makes it snow? We do not know, but snow is fun to dig and throw. Look at the little dog. <laughs> snow is good for me and you, for men and women, and horses too. Snow is good. It makes you slide. It lets you give your dog a ride. And Willow and Sarah do have dogs and cats. Snow is good for making tracks and making pictures with your backs. No angels, right? Mrs. Short used to do that. Me and my sister used to do that when we were little. We go uphill. The snow is deep. We can't go fast. The hill is steep. We think our dog has gone to sleep. But then we get up top at last. Then down we come. We come down fast. You know what this is called? I bet you do. It's called a toboggan or a sled, but a toboggan. Different words for it. Sometimes we put on long, long feet and walk up every hill we meet. And those are skis. Downhill we fly, downhill we sail. Our dog sails after on his tail. Oh, there he is. Sorry. Right there. What a silly thing to do. Are your feet too long for you? This is short tried to ski many, many times. Just didn't work. Come on, get up, get on your way. We have a lot to do today. Now take some snow and make a ball. 
a lot of snowballs make a wall. Hmm. A lot of snowballs make a wall. What do you think they're going to make with that wall? Tell someone near you. I don't have anyone near me. Put on more snowballs one by one. Our house of snow will soon be done. I love how they're working together so nicely. Do you like bread? Do you like meat? Come in our house. Come in and meet. Eat. Maybe they're going to eat the meat. See how I tried to fix that mistake I made? Did you ever make mistakes reading? Yeah. I could start all over again, but not everybody's perfect, so I tried to fix it. Snow is lots of fun, all right. It gives you a big appetite. We had our bread. We had our meat. Some bread is left for birds to eat. Well, that's very nice. I bet Willow and Nora do that. Now make another ball of snow. Push it, push it, see it go. What a snowball, see it grow, see it grow and grow and grow. Whoa, I added that in. What will we make? Let's make a man. Let's make the biggest man we can. His head will have to, his head will have to have a hat. His hat is on. Just look at that. He is so big. He is so tall. He is the biggest man of all. That is one big snowman. I love how the dog is trying to put the hat. On the top. The sun, the sun, it came out fast. Do you think Ned is going to last? I don't know. Keep that sun away from Ned. The sun is going to his head. Aww. After all that work. The biggest snowman of them all is very, very, very small. They tried to keep him away from the sun using an umbrella. That was a smart idea. The way that sun is coming down, there soon will be no snow in town. Take some, save it from the sun. Take all you can and run, run, run. The snow out there will come and go, but snow will keep in here, we know. So we will put the snow away and play with it another day. So they'll just put it in the freezer. And that's it. So, boys and girls, if you live where it's snowing, I bet you do some of these things. Make sure you bundle up, have fun in the snow, and Willow and Nora, I hope you enjoyed the story that I read just for you. All right, bye friends.